Hey guys, welcome back. It is your girl, Bomb Julam. I know I've been gone for a long time. I've been taking care of a lot of business, moving into a new place and all of those things. So I just wanted to get into um, some of my favorite rookies. We are coming up on a new NBA draft soon. So I just wanted to go ahead and talk about some of my favorite rookies from this year's 2017-2018 NBA season. This year's rookie class was freaking phenomenal. There's a lot of people on here. Um, there's a lot of people that's not on this list <laughs> that I would have liked to name and I'll probably give them an honorable mention at the end of the video. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get into my top five favorite rookies from this year's 2017-2018 NBA season. First off, we got my guy Jason Tatum. So Jason, earlier in the season, a lot of people were giving him the um, nickname of Paul George 2.0. And at first I didn't really like the comparison. I'm a big Paul George fan. He's one of my favorite players currently. And I just didn't, I don't know. I, I don't like to like put people in a box, but I kind of understand where they're coming from because they are both small forwards. They both have similar aspects to their game. Jason is a great defender. Um, he's a great scorer. He can finish at the rim or he can, you know, pull up for a three point shot. Um, so I understand people, <laughs> I guess people's comparisons. You could also call him the finisher too. I know that's Laurie Markinon's nickname, but you can also call <laughs> Jason Tatum the finisher. Um, no shade to Laurie, I, I love Laurie. Um, so Jason Tatum, he's like NBA averages. He finished with 14, five, um, two assists and one block per game. He's played consistently great all year and even in the playoffs, he's been doing ex like extremely well. I'm like always excited to watch him when he plays. He seems to be very engaged, always focused on the floor. And who's to say we would have noticed his um his contributions if Kyrie and Gordon hadn't went down. You know, he might not have played as much. So I'm very glad to see that he's been able to exhibit his skill level this year. He's been like a super fun player to watch. Um just to get into a few of his stats, so from within five feet of the rim, he shot 187 of 317 shots. So that's about 57% um, of his shots within five feet, he got them to fall. And then from three, he got 38% of his shots to fall, shooting 52 of 135. So of course he's a rookie, so there's always room for improvement. I would say these percentages are actually pretty good already. Cause usually the standard is usually like 40% from three. So the fact that he's already at 38 is like very good. And he has a 54% efficiency field goal percentage already. Um, on defense, like I said, he's always very engaged. You can tell like, especially when he's on the perimeter, he's, he's effective there. And then as far as block goes, um, 42 of his 59 blocks that he got this season were at the rim or within five feet of the rim. So he's definitely showing that he can do his part that he can help out on defense when he's needed. Like he's a super, what's the word? Super versatile player. And I love watching him play. So next up we have De'Aaron Fox, another one of my favorites. Um, I watched a lot of Sacramento games this year. Um, it was always cool to watch De'Aaron check in and do his thing. His numbers weren't that great. Uh, he averaged 11 points, 11.6 points, so almost 12. Uh, three rebounds, four assists, and one steal for 28 minutes per game. Not bad, you know what I mean? Again, he is a rookie, so there's always room for improvement. He has a lot of style and speed. Like, when he makes shots, sometimes his shots just look crazy. Like the buzzer beater he had against Miami <laughs> over the three defenders. Like, he has crazy athleticism. And then his speed, like watching him like just run down the floor and just get to the rim is just like, wow, like this guy is like crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's another one of the players that I really enjoyed watching. He can shoot from all areas of the floor. He can shoot from mid range, near the rim, from three point. But I noticed that a lot of his percentages weren't all that high. But again, like I said, he's a rookie, so there's always room for improvement. I just enjoy watching his style of play. And so that was one of my reasons for adding him to my favorite rookies list for this year. Next up, we have the actual 
finisher. Now, I know I said earlier Jason Tatum was a finisher. But we got my guy, Larry Makina, from Finland. And they also call him the finisher. So, watching Bulls games early in this year's season, I immediately noticed this guy's style and just how he played he was a beast on defense he's super effective as a player and then his shooting from the three-point line is usually lights out by january the nba had actually created a compilation of his first 100 threes that's only three months into the season guys imagine his ceiling like so he completed the season averaging 15 points 7.5 basically eight rebounds that's crazy and one assist. He also finished third in his rookie class for three pointers made. He made 145 to 300, only finishing behind Jason, not Jason, <laughs> only finishing behind Donovan Mitchell and Kyle Kuzma. That's pretty amazing. And I'm super excited to see like Larry Markinen's ceiling. He plays so well on the floor. Like, I feel like this guy can only get like a thousand times better like I'm just like so excited to watch him um, in these seasons to come on to another guy who I really really enjoyed watching this year Dennis Smith jr. oh my god the hops on this man are you kidding me personally I think he should have won the dunk contest this year at the um, all-star game but that is just me um, so he finished this season with an efficiency field goal percentage uh, 44 percent point 44 point six percent I can't talk <laughs> I know the Mavs did not contend this year but I really like I really enjoyed watching them for several reasons one Dirk Nowitzki is one of my favorite players of all time he's in my top five so this guy I just noticed he's he's gonna be a star like his potential I noticed almost immediately in the beginning of the season watching games he's just super explosive he has major hops. Um, I liken his situation to Donovan Mitchell, where he was one of the primary playmakers and scorers for his team during his rookie year. And he got the job done, averaging uh, 30 minutes per game with 15, 15 points, four rebounds, five assists, and one steal. That's not bad. 15 points on 30 minutes. That's basically a basket every other game. Personally, like I said, I believe he should have won the dunk contest, but that's just me. He does make, he did make a few mistakes this uh, year in his rookie season, like trying to pass through clog lanes. Um, but of course, you know, you just learn from these things when you're a rookie and you come back and you do better. But I definitely like how quick he is, how explosive he can be, and how sometimes he can create shots on pick and rolls. He's just like a cool player to watch and yeah. <laughs> So lastly, we have Ben Simmons. So Ben Simmons made up for lost time after not being able to play in his original draft year from his injury. He came close to averaging a triple-double in his first year with 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists, and went on to average a triple-double in the first round of his first playoff series ever. When the second best player on his team went down with an injury, Joel Embiid, or The Mask, <laughs> He led them into the playoffs and helped them sustain enough wins to become the number three seed. Are you kidding me? Philly had not been in the playoffs for five years. Um, so they have finally had their first season as a contender after um, not going to the playoffs all that time with Ben as a starter. And Ben is one of those people, he has enough stop, he has enough size, but Ben also has speed to match that size. He shot 83% of his shots within 10 feet of the rim, and he got 58% of them to fall. Like I said, I believe his size and speed definitely helps him to achieve that. Um, now, on the other hand, one aspect of his game that a lot of people would like him to work on is his mid-range jumper and his three-point shot. He only pulled up from outside of the paint 17% of the time. And he only got 25% of those shots to fall. Okay, so I will say his size also plays a part in his defense where he averaged two steals per game and a block per game. If he has a guy on perimeter, they are usually forced to pass the ball out just because of Ben's size, his height, his wingspan. Like, it's very hard for you to try to create a shot when he's guarding you. Like, you're really gonna have to force it or create a horse shot or just take a very difficult shot when he's on you. 
but I just like, I just appreciate uh, Ben's, his style of game, how he always gets his entire team involved. Like Philly was such a fun team to watch with him as a point guard because of how he created so many ways for his other players on his team to score. Like the, the Philly team looked like a very deep team. And I would say a lot of it had to do with the playmaking that Ben created while he was on the floor. So yeah, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. I want to give an honorable mention to John Collins. He played as a center this year for the Atlanta Hawks, averaging 10 points, seven rebounds, one assist and one block while playing 24 minutes per game. This year's rookie class was phenomenal. I can only imagine the heat we are gonna see from these guys in the seasons to come. And a few other players who I would have loved to like talk about were like Josh Jackson, uh, Kyle Kuzma. We just had so many good players this year. That's why was a lot of fun with watching these guys. Yeah guys, so those are my top five favorite rookies from this year's 2017-2018 NBA season. I'm hoping that this year's upcoming uh, draft will produce some really, really fun players like how we had this year. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.